Hello, in this video we're going to talk about noise reduction. A lot of people use digital cameras today and they offer great flexibility and ease of use but one of the downsides of using a digital camera is they add a lot of noise to low light areas and that's a surefire way to make your image look unprofessional. So we're going to talk about a few techniques to kind of reduce that effect and still retain the overall quality of your image. So once you have Photoshop opened go ahead and open up the file called reducenoise.jpg came with the zip file. Okay, the first thing we're going to want to do is copy this layer. So hit Control Alt J or hit Option Command J on a Mac and that's going to open up the new layer dialog. Let's just name this Noise Reduction. Okay, once we have that new layer created, let's go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And you want to blur this so you see no grain at all. Don't worry about losing detail because we're going to remedy that later. About two pixels usually works but you might want to apply different settings for your different types of images so you might have to play with that a little bit to get to what works right for you. Okay once we have that done we're going to change the blend mode of this new layer to color. That means is this layer is only going to affect the color. It's not going to affect any of the luminous value of anything else of the photograph. That's, exa that's crucial to do what we're going to do next. The next thing we're going to want to do is combine those two layers so we can apply another filter to them. Okay, so to do that, hit Shift Control Alt or Shift Option Command on Mac. While you have all three of those buttons held, type N. It's going to open up a new layer for you. While still having all three of those buttons held, then type E. That's going to paste both those other underlying layers into the new layer. With that newly created layer selected, go to Filter. noise and then go to median. Okay and this one we want to get a compromise between detail and no grain. Usually about two works for me. You might want to try some different settings to get what works right for you. If you go too high you can see you lose too much detail in the background and stuff looks a little abstract. So two seems to be the magic number for me most of the time. Okay, so now we're going to hit OK. Okay, now we got to try to compromise between the layers the reduction of noise and still the detail and luminance value of the other original photograph. So the first thing we're going to want to do is reduce our opacity just a little bit on this image just so you start to see noise. When you start to see noise back up a little bit again so you don't see any noise or very minimal amount of noise in your image. Okay, For us we're going to keep it around 80% I guess. Okay, Once you have that done make sure you have black selected is your color. Then we're going to go to our mask layer and we're just going to start painting. Wherever we paint it's going to remove that median filter and the Gaussian filter. I'll give you an example by zooming in close. Here we can see it looks pretty smooth, but if we start painting now, you can see a lot of the grain now pops up. So what we're going to do now is areas that we know we're going to be pretty okay with, with gr without grain, your high light leveled areas, we're going to go ahead and paint those so we can get a lot of our detail back. If you have a drawing tablet this will be even easier for you. You get a lot more natural look. But you can use a mouse as well, you just might have to use a smaller brush and take a few passes. Okay, and I mean this can be kind of tedious but you know if you have a photograph that you really love but you have this little bit of area of grain that's kind of bringing the whole quality down. This can really save you. So we're just going to go around to all the highlight areas where we know the grain isn't is so much of an issue. Okay. And it might be hard to see on the video because you know there's compression used when we capture these. Um, so you know I really recommend trying this yourself so you can actually see it firsthand on a live image. But that's pretty much it. 
and um, this is a technique that will you know definitely revive some of your low-lit digital photos